Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are doing fine. You are studying, you are going through all the videos and you are up to date with whatever you have done till now. Today we will be doing geography chapter number 4 major landforms and this will be my video number 2. In my video number 1 we had done a small introduction to this chapter that what are we going to discuss in this chapter. So today we are going to discuss the first agent of erosion that is river. We are going to study the work of a river in detail. Okay, so we'll start this topic now. Now when I, you know, when it rains, you all know that when it rains, some water, it either steeps underground, some water evaporates and some water forms the stream. Those streams join together and they form a river. So to understand this work of a river, we should first know some basic terms that we are going to use in this topic. First one is source. Source is that place from where the river originates. Then comes mouth. Mouth is that place from where the river enters maybe a sea, maybe a lake. Or maybe a larger river. Then comes a river basin. That is that area of land which is drained by a river and its tributaries. Tributaries, now we'll see what are tributaries. Tributaries, it is that small river that flows into a larger river. So these are the four basic and four important terms which we all should know. First one, source, from where the river originates. Second is mouth, from where the river enters a larger river. Then comes the river basin. This is that area of land which is drained by a river and its tributaries. Then comes tributaries. It is a river that flows into a larger river. Now we are going to understand the work of the running water. See, this running water, it carries out its work in three ways. It erodes the rock, you know, it erodes that rock over which it flows. Okay, it erodes that rock. Later, it transport that rock. Then it deposits that rock. Firstly, it will erode the rock, later it will transport the rock and then it will deposit that rock. Now we are going to study the different landforms that this river creates. We are going to discuss all those landforms one by one. Okay, so we'll start that now. So now we are going to see the landforms that are being created by the river. Now when we talk about a river, we should know that this river, it is divided into three stages. The youth stage, the mature stage and old stage. Youth stage is that stage where the flow is very swift and the landform that are being made here is like V-shaped valley. Mature stage is that stage where the river goes into the gentle sloping region and the landform that is being made here is meanders. Then comes the old stage where the flow is very very slow and more deposition takes place in the old stage and the landform that is being made here is the Oxbow Lake. Okay, So we are going to start with the V-shaped valley. V-shaped valley, it is formed by the erosion from a river which flow quickly downhill, eroding the landscape. You know, uh, when the water, when it starts from the mountains, the flow is very, very fast. As it starts coming down, it erodes all the rock materials, it erodes the side of the mountains and take all the, um, all the broken rock materials along with it, forming a V-shaped 
valley. As the water it moves very swiftly in hilly areas, there is more erosion of the sediments and practically no deposition. See, this is one example of V-shaped valley. We can see how that water which is coming from the mountain has made a V-shaped valley there. Another example, another landform that is being made is waterfall and rapid. What are waterfalls? I'm sure uh, in your lifetime, uh, you all must have seen what is a waterfall. Waterfall, when the water of the river, it falls vertically down a steep valley side, a waterfall is formed. When the water, it is falling straight down from the mountain, it forms a waterfall. And it, why it is important? Because it can be used to generate hydroelectricity. Rapid, it is that part of a river where current is very fast. You know, there are stretches of fast flowing water tumbling over a rocky shallow river bed. Now, in my next slide, when I will be showing you an image of waterfall and rapid, you will have a clear picture of what I want to say. In waterfall, the water is falling straight from the mountains downwards. But rapids, there are some stones in between where the water starts tumbling over that and come down. So shall we see that image? See, the first image, it is of a waterfall. In another image, you can see so many rocks which are there in between from where the water tumbles down and come downwards. Can you see that? Hope this picture clarifies you the difference between waterfall and rapid. Okay then. Now we'll see some important facts which are related to waterfall. You all know that the highest waterfall in India, it is Jog or Jashopa Fall, which is in Karnataka. When we talk about the world, the highest waterfall is Salto Angel Falls. And other important waterfalls are Niagara Waterfall in North America and the Victoria Fall in Africa. And this uh, Sal Salto Angel Falls, this is in South America. Okay, so you should know all these facts. Now comes the meanders. Meanders is a landform which is a part of a mature stage. Meanders, it is a curve or a bend which is formed by a river during its course. You know, as the river, it enters the plain, it twists and turns which forms large bends called meanders. Uh, to understand meanders better, I'll give you one uh, example from a daily life which will make you understand about meanders. For example, you have a glass of water with you. Now, when you throw that water straight from your head, that water will come straight down. But if that water, you spill it on the floor, that water would be scattered here and there. So this is how meanders are made. When the water, it is coming straight from the mountains, it is forming, it is running down straight. Now, when it enters the plain, plain is a vast area. So, it would be scattered here and there. I'll show you an image showing meanders. See, can you see those curves? These are what we call meanders. And our next landform, which is Oxbow Lake, it is formed from these meanders only. See, now Oxbow Lake. Oxbow Lake, it is the part of the old stage. Oxbow Lake, it's just like the shape of the bow of the ox. That is why it got its name Oxbow Lake. Now, when the flowing river, it changes its direction, Oxbow Lakes are formed. Now, the question comes, why will the river change their direction? Do you have any idea why do the rivers change their direction? See, because in this stage, more deposition takes place. I'll show you one image. Just let us first understand what is Oxbow Lake. 
and then I'll show you an image which will show you how oxbow lakes are formed. Due to turns and twists, when erosion and deposition takes place, the meander loop, it cuts off from the river. Loop, I'll just show you. These are the loops which are formed by the meander. Okay, it cuts off from this river and it forms an oxbow lake. See, this way the water was coming. Okay, now it is be depositing all the sediments here, which is reducing the gap between them. Now, when all these deposits will be collected here, this water will start flowing straight. This loop will be cut off. See, you can see this loop is cut off. This cut off loop, it is called oxbow lake. Clear? And to form an oxbow lake, it is very important that meanders are there first. Because oxbow lakes are only formed from the meanders. We move to our next landform that is flat plain. Flat plain, it comes from two words, flood and plain. Which means when the flood comes on the plains. Now you all know that when flood comes, the river generally overflows its bank. Okay. So the water is being collected there. And this lead to flooding of the neighboring areas. And this flood, it deposits layers of fine soil and other materials, which we call it sediments. Okay. They deposit them along the river bank which form flood plains. Clear? Now next one is natural levees. The, the coarse materials which are brought by the river, they are deposited along the bank of the river. The coarse material, when flood takes place, it along with it, along with the water, it also brings the material from that, which is being collected along the bank of the river. So somewhere they form long ridges of low height. You can see on the banks of the river, somewhere long ridges are being formed. Those long ridges are known as natural levees. Next one is sandbars. Now when a river, it reaches its mouth, the sediment that was brought by a river, it gets deposited as sandbars. Sandbar, it is a long mass of sand at the point where a river meets the sea that is formed by the movement of the water. Understood sandbar? We know that the river which is coming from the mountain, when it reaches its mouth, the sediment that it has brought all the way from there, it gets deposited as sandbar. And the, this only, it divides the main channel into several channels which we call distributaries. The last landform that is made is delta which is created by the deposition of sediment which is carried by a river. It is formed when the flow of the water reduces and is not able to carry its load. So it deposits them at the bottom of the river. See what happens? As the river, it reaches the sea. The speed of the water, it decreases. And the river, it breaks into number of streams, which we call distributaries. Then these distributaries, they form a delta. It is that landform which is created at the mouth of a river, where the river deposits sediments into a sea, ocean or lake. I'll show you the image of delta. See that water which was coming straight. Now it has started depositing all the sediment. And you can see different different channels are being made before it is entering the sea. So these channels they are known as these distributaries. They form a delta. Understood? So what are landforms we had studied in this topic in work of a river? We started with. V-shaped valley. Then another we did waterfall. Apart from waterfall, we did rapid. Then we see, saw that when the river, it enters the plains, meanders and oxbow lake are formed. Then comes the flood plain and natural levees. Then after that, sandbars. 
then when the river finally is about to reach the mouth the distributary the delta it is being formed i hope you all have understood about the work of a river i will be giving you a short assignment now which you have to do it in your copy this will be assignment number 2 question number 1 you need to name the highest waterfall in india as well as in the world question number 2 how are oxbow lakes formed i had just explained in my video how from the meanders you form uh, the oxbow lake is formed also make a diagram okay the diagram as it was shown in the ppt that how from that meander the loop is being cut off so i want to see that diagram also question number 3 mention all the landforms that a river forms in the course of time so here you need to mention only you have to mention the name of those landforms you need not explain all the landforms i only need to know uh, this uh, how are oxbow lakes formed apart from that here you will only name the landforms okay i hope this topic is clear in my next video we will be discussing about work of sea wave okay till then please go through this video once again do this assignment okay then thank you bye bye